Hi there, welcome to another video tutorial. I'm Miss Ng here. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to answer chapter 4 of form 4, Simultaneous Equation. Actually, this chapter is really easy, um, but some students tend to find it hard. <laughs> okay, it's really easy because you don't really have to think. It's just some skills, some algebra skills, fraction skills, and your equation skills. Yeah. Now, let me just give you a reminder. In Form 3, you learn simultaneous equation, but they are both linear equation so i'm going to explain it to you uh what does it mean yeah okay so let's uh let's say you have this equation y equals to 12 minus x and uh, okay let's not take this let's take uh let's take this let's say you have x plus y is equals to 5 and you have another equation is x squared minus y squared 2xy sorry so let's write it here x square minus 2xy plus y square equals to 9 okay so they say solve these two equations when they say solve it means find the value of x and the value of y when you were in form 3 you learn how to solve two equations as well simultaneous but both the equations are linear so here's the first key the first key that you must know before you can solve simultaneous equation from Edmatch chapter 4 is this you must know how to identify a linear equation and a non-linear equation okay so uh, let's just write it down a linear and a non-linear equation you must be able to tell one of them will be a linear another will be a non-linear okay a linear equation has the unknown x y with with power one power one which means this one look this is x power one and this is y power one right so this is obviously the linear equation that's the first thing that you must uh, notice right and the second e second equation has got x power 2 and y power 2 so immediately you know that the second equation here cannot be the linear it has to be the nonlinear okay now there is another uh, there is another key that you can use to differentiate nonlinear equation that is uh, other than the square yeah other than the power 2 you look at the unknown x and y they are both separated by a times you know the relationship between x and y here it's times right this is a non-linear equation a linear equation yeah the x and the y is normally separated by a plus or a minus okay all right so first identify which is the linear so this is first equation and this is second equation the first is the linear now once you have identified which is the linear equation the second thing you have to know is this you have to use the substitution method you cannot use substitution method you cannot use the elimination method that you use in form 3 okay and to use the substitution method you must you must substitute the nonlinear into the linear Eh, sorry, it's the other way around. <laughs> you must substitute the linear into the nonlinear. Okay? The linear is this, x plus y equals 5. So you can make any one of them the subject. Say x equals to 5 minus y. Alright, now substitute x equals to 5 minus y into equation 2, which is the nonlinear equation. So 5 minus y square minus 2 x is 5 minus y that's y plus y square equals to 9 right now here at this point yeah you have to be very careful when you expand your algebra 5 minus y square is okay i'm doing this because this is for form 4 <laughs> okay uh it's not uh, equal it's minus so 2y that will be negative 10y plus negative uh, plus 2y square plus y square minus 9 equals to 0 okay put everything to one side and make it equals to 0 now expand this this becomes 25 minus 10y plus y square minus 10y uh, plus 2y square plus y square that is 3y square minus 9 okay 
that's equals to 0. So now be very careful. Do your y square and your y square. That's 4y square. Negative 10y, negative 10y. That's negative 20y. 25 minus 9. That is plus 16 equals to 0. Okay. So now uh, you can factorize it. Actually, um, okay, you can use the calculator at this point or uh, to make things look easier, can you see 4y, 20, negative 20 and 16? All of them can be divided by 4. Yeah, all of them can be divided by 4n. So you can simplify it to y square minus 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay. Now, uh, now you can press the calculator. It's very easy. It's y minus 4 and y minus 1. Okay. Now, if you're not sure how to do factorization, then please watch my earlier video for chapter 2 from 4 at math, where I teach you how to uh, solve the equation solve some uh, quadratic equation yeah this is quadratic equation so you have y equals to 4 and y equals to 1 now please remember also a lot of students here yeah, when they come to this point wow they're very happy finish already y is 4 y is 1 <laughs> they forget that they're supposed to find x as well you will have two pairs of answers yeah please remember this two pairs of answers so now right when y is 4 so what is x where do you put it in put it into this equation this one this one because it's directly x equals to 5 minus y don't go and put into equation 2 okay don't be silly equation 2 is so complicated <laughs> okay put the y equals 4 into this equation so you can directly find what is y, uh, what is x it's 5 minus 4 so x is 1 then you write it again when y equals to 1 x equals to 5 minus 1 which is 4 okay so then you have two pairs of answers and that's it that's how you solve simultaneous equation an easy five mark all right now uh, stay tuned for the second video the second video i am going to teach you how to solve simultaneous equation if you have fraction you realize there's no fraction here but sometimes the equation has fraction okay say let's say you have this uh, 4 over x minus 8 over y equals to 4 and you have the second one x minus 3y equals to 14 okay right so i'm going to tackle this question in the next video right hope this helps